Let's talk about drive a little bit. Let's how, do it. How'd you, how'd you get into uh, getting to drive? So drive, I started working at last summer when uh, coronavirus hit. Yeah. So two of the longtime members there, Danny and Georgia Tuma, um, I'm best friends with one of their nephews. Okay. So they train there. Okay. And so they kind of, I've known them almost all my life and they just kind of referred me to Tony and, you know, sent them the application and everything, met mm -hmm. with them when coronavirus hit and it kind of just kicked off. So, so you've been there full time since when? Um, technically since this summer, but like okay. I said, I'm still kind of working up there, getting it done. Yeah. We'll be full time soon. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. No, you absolutely. Uh -huh. So you're doing personal training. So like those of you out there that may be interested, right? So what I'm what I'm doing with Sammy is I'm working out with him twice a week. Uh, actually, why don't you describe it? You you can describe it better than I can. All right. So what me and Mike doing is the one on one PT. We meet twice a week, but there's options anywhere from one, three, four days if that's you. Yep. Um, but yeah, we meet twice a week. We work out for sixty minutes. Yep. Yeah, we put you through some pretty good stuff, and then uh, yeah, and, yeah, and, you do. <laughs> you get me going pretty good. Let me t want me to talk a little bit more about drive? Explain it. Yeah, yeah, please do. All right. So I also do uh, small group training, mostly with athletes. So okay. we call it the, our Elite Z sector. So an Elite Z is where we bring in all the athletes. I had a couple of groups with them this summer, which love them. Athletes are my favorite to work yep. with, man. Like what size groups or uh, something like that? Anywhere from three to eight. Okay. So yeah, in any age from like 10 to 18. And I think that's a lot where uh, I'll talk about that after teaching and how it helped me out with that. Yeah. Um, do group classes, man. If the, Let me tell you something. If you're looking to get in shape, drive group classes are the spot for you to be in. 55 minutes, you get yeah. in, you get out. Yeah. We got strength training. We have cardio to strength. There's a turf, which you, you know, and some more about the, a little bit more about the cardio and strength. We have heated studios. So something for everyone there. Um, so if you're like an average person trying to get it done, you know, definitely check out Drive Custom Fit. Yeah, I would say what, what I've found in the, you know, month that I've been there is everything's very efficient, too. Very you know what efficient. I mean? Like, you're not wasting any time. You know, so for, you know, you guys out there that are, that are busy, I mean, it's, you're in and out. You yeah. know I mean, you're in and out in a little over an hour, you know, and you get a killer workout. Mm -hmm. And, dude, I've, I told you, I've been to yoga like six times now. I did yoga like a couple times like five years ago. Uh -huh. And uh, I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm like getting getting into it. I like it. Yeah, they have a very very good yoga program for yeah. being a, a studio gym. Yeah, it's it's cool, mm -hmm. and it's uh and I've been to like a few different types of classes. It's uh it's super difficult. It's it, it's challenging. <laughs> it really is challenging. Um, but you feel great afterwards. Yep, especially yeah. in the heat, man. Yeah, when you walk out from the heat, you're yeah. just like, ah, oh. it's like great. You know, it's, it's a great so way good. to start the day. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, and I mean, so hey, you're teaching classes as well, right? Yep. So that everyone knows and you teach all the classes not all of them i do uh so i'll have seven classes a week coming up now monday tuesday yep. or monday wednesday thursday friday and then two on saturday so monday wednesday thursday friday okay you know, time slot for anyone yep and what classes do you teach uh this fall i'll be doing synergy shred i think those are the only two so i'll be in those okay. two studio rooms shreds Synergy's one of the heated rooms all and, strength yep. and then shred that, that one? That's where we have, it's a heated room. You have uh, the Kaiser bike in there. You have a set of bands and then you have single dumbbells. So you'll have a 15 pounder, a 25 and a 50. All right, I'm not ready for that room yet. I, I think you will be soon with what we've been pushing you through, man. I know. It's, it's the, the, the lifting I'm fine with. It's, it's like when that like serious cardio shit comes at me, when it's like fucking 100 degrees in there, I get a little nervous about I don't know. That. I think you're good for it, man. Yeah, I know I am. We'll get you in I'll, there. You just, just got to make me do it. We'll do it. Uh, then we will. <laughs> Um, that's awesome, man. It, so, it's, so you've been there a few months now. Um, I think this will be kind of like a, a catapult for you. I really do. So I think you're, you, you do an awesome job with the training just from working with me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I think your mentality is, is good for people coming in that want some of that, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I really like it, man. I love, like I told you, I, I quit teaching to come here Yep. and it's, uh, there's just something about the one-on-one -on -one training I really enjoy and the athletes. I think those are my yeah. two favorites for sure. Yeah. You know what? Talk to me about the leaving teaching, right? So you were, so you went to school for teaching. Yep. So right? phys ed major. And you taught for a couple of years. Offered, dude, super lucky. I'm still yeah. every day so fortunate that I got a full-time job right out of college. Yeah, it's Set incredible. Me a very good position now. And I worked with some pretty incredible people there too. Um, school system definitely wasn't one for me. Yep. It was tough just for my personality and um, Do you mean working in any school system? I think any school system. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, very there's a lot of like administration work, you got to do a lot of paperwork. There's a lot yep. of, uh, you know, 
crossing your T's, dotting your I's, and that stuff I'm all okay with doing in like the fitness industry, but it's just very repetitive and hard to do in teaching. Yeah. Well, like I said, man, so fortunate, made some, some good coin, got so much experience teaching kids, which I think is going to help me bounds and leaps in the fitness industry, leaps and bounds. And like I said, too, at the end of the day, I worked with a couple of really incredible people that gave me some, some good stuff to take away with me. Yeah. But you, but you were ready to move on. Yeah, I I think, yeah. Especially after the zoom year, dude, let me tell you something, (laughs) being a 23 year old person, like man, teaching Zoom P will do a lot of things to your psychology. Oh, I bet. It's fucking hard. You're probably gonna lose your mind. Yeah. Yeah, right. I watched my kids do that and it was like, this is this is not sustainable. You know, especially with with PE. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> like seriously, like my, my little guy had to do it was like, this is ridiculous. Dude, yeah. You know what I mean? Like but, it was ridiculous. Let me tell you something though. One, there was a couple of kids, like a nice handful who really enjoyed the process, which yeah. is nice to see, you yeah. know, kids that are a little more shy and want to stay in the back of PE class. Yep. You know, some kids really shined on Zoom PE, so it wasn't all bad. You know, it was just, it was just such a hard year. Yeah. You know what I mean? For, for kids and people, people kind of forget that. It's like all kids learn differently, but what they do need is they need to be uh, social. Dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. Children, big time. Children are not made to just be alone all the time even the shy kid in the back of the room mm-hmm. you know what i mean they still want to see people around them yeah they you know want to be I mean? part of it so they just don't want to be in the middle of yeah the game. they just don't want to be in the middle of the mix and that's okay you know but it was uh that was tough i can't even seeing imagine. your kids too dude must have been tough you know oh i so fortunately my two little guys are only a year apart right mm-hmm. so they had each other to be with all the time you know and i was thinking what if you have what if you have a kid like you know, only have one child right and there's home by themselves yeah. all the time. Like, that would be terrible, you know what I mean, for, for these kids. Um, fortunately, the, the, the little guys, were they, they kept themselves busy. Um, but it wasn't easy on, on any of them. You know what I mean? My, my, my oldest son had a hard time with it. You know what I mean? He's going to be 16. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that's a tough age. To freshman be in high school. You know what I mean? And, and it, it, like, there, there was no freshman year of high school. Dude, and yeah, and like all those yeah. things we're talking about today, like the discipline, the accountability, that's such a pivotal age yep. for learning those things or at least getting it kick started. Oh, like, and there was no there was there was no discipline. There was no like it was like you 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 connect to the Zoom call or you don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You show up or you don't. Yep. You know what I mean? Like can keep your screen off, can yeah, yeah. It was like and when you're fifteen years old. That's, you know, not all 15-year-olds were measuring their fucking chicken like you were. <laughs> it wasn't measuring you know it, was I mean? pounding it. <laughs> not yet. You know, but like, you know, and, and, and Michael, my, my, my son, he's a great kid, awesome kid. But like, he didn't want to, if we like left to come to work, it, he wouldn't log into all of his classes. Yeah. You know I mean, he's 15 years old. They need to be in school so they're being, you know, directed the right way. Mm-hmm. We all need direction. We all need direction, right? man. I need you to tell me how many reps to do, <laughs> you know, when you count them correctly. Yep. I, <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, not, not, yeah. on the, not on the podcast, man. <laughs> no, that's funny. Yeah, we all need direction, push. Yeah, no doubt about it. 